Hello, my name is Greg Crayola Simpkins. I'm part of the Trakel Pro team here at Trakel.com. So um, today we're talking about the Golden Taclon brushes. The stiffness is just perfect. It's right between a sable and right between like the hog bristle. So it's not too stiff, not too soft. And you know, it makes for easier paint delivery. These are great for watercolors, for oils, for acrylics, but you could also use these with ink. A lot of times you'll be working on a larger piece and you wanna kinda sit back as you're blocking in. You don't wanna get all up there and detailed. So the longer handles are great for that. As you block in, you kinda sit back and you look at your shape and form more than really get into that fine detail, which is where the short handles come in because when you're getting towards the end, you kinda really wanna get in there and, and work out those details. It's good to have a shorter handle because you're not like banging yourself in the head and all that kind of stuff. Let's talk about the cat's tongue. It, it's, it's very similar to a filbert, but it comes to a point and I, I find myself using these for so many different applications. Uh, it could be fur as well and you can do line work with it because it comes to that point and you can do all kinds of really great applications. We've got this, this script brush. You can pull really long lines with these. And the brush itself acts as a shock absorber, so if your hand's shaky, it's not gonna show up in the brush stroke. Let's look at the bright. A bright is like this angle brush, but it's completely flat across the top. And these are good for short and controlled strokes. Get shapes, you can do it like a medium line. Generally like using these for blocking in just big loose areas that I will come back and define later. The fan brushes are for doing big blendy things. Also good for making trees and all kinds of fun stuff. So let's mess around with this liner. Say we're working on some grass and we want to just pull some, just a few of the blades closer to you. This really is just a great brush for details and I, I like how it holds this point for a very long time. You take care of your brushes, they'll take care of you. It's good to use the brush cleaner at the end of a session. All right, here's one of my favorite things with the wash brushes. I like using my transparent paints with it. All I'm doing right now is putting down a little bit of water over this dry section of this mass I've created. And what you'll see is when I use the transparent paint, how it tints the sections. It's a good thing to do with the, the dagger brush to see what the natural shapes are that it'll create. I just laying the brush down. The brush lengths are offset, so you have a hangover at the very edge and having a fine grain to it, hence the name grainer. It's good for fur, it's good for feathers, it's good for grass, or anything you want to do, any kind of abstract stuff you want to do too. Feather it out, and the grainer makes it look more natural. Here I have an angle brush, and let's see what it does. And so, like I said before, these are great for doing medium shaped lines and you can fatten them up, thin them out. They're also good for blending. So like I said before, I use these rounds together with a cat's tongue or a filbert. So I'll apply it. The round will hold that edge right here at the tip so I have a sharp shape. I blend off that edge with the filbert and I have a nice transition of that shadow. Work the point on it, shadow in where the eye is. Yeah, I think this combination right here, you can do a lot of work with and be happy. These are good for approaching a larger painting from further away and I like to block in with these. The, the good thing about them being long is they hold more paint and you can work your way to the edge of it than if you're working with a shorter filbert. You have more play that you can do with it. The filbert's are really uh, multi-versatile. I probably use these more than I do most brushes. You can use it like a bright, you can also get lines off it, which are great. I use them for blending also. All right, the long handle, long bristled flats are really good for blocking in as well and being at the having your distance like we were using with the filbert comes to that blunt edge, so you can get a, a crisper edge when you're blocking in. Yeah. 
Okay. So um, today we're talking about the golden Taclon brushes. Uh, these are harvested from the Taclon creatures on the planet Taclon. 